Well, the city of Ridgeland says it will withhold funding from the public library if certain books, uh, books are not pulled off the shelves. But there's still disagreement on what types of books the city's mayor wants to remove. Well, New Santa Farish talked with people on both sides of the issue. And Anna, what would you find out? Well, Walt, those with the Madison County Library System say Mayor Gene McGee is withholding $110,000 from the library after complaints that LGBTQ plus books were on display. Now, according to the Ridgeland Library, the books went on display back in September as part of the new books shelf near the front entrance. Now, I'm told some comments were made, but it wasn't until recently that the books were taken off of the shelves completely. The head librarian says that the new books sit on display for about three months, then are rotated out for the next group of new books. Community leaders are speaking out in response to the issue. Here's what they had to say. It's like someone's trying to push an agenda, and, and no matter what the agenda is, but um, I don't think that that's what a public library is, is about, no matter what your agenda is. If, if they want to take those books and catalog them and put them on the shelf, that's one thing, but but when it's out on display like that, it's it's somebody's got an agenda behind it and trying to push it. Not only is representation important, but books also teach. And so I think it teaches empathy. I think it teaches kids how to connect with another child. And it teaches um, kids that who they are is okay. Now, the MCLS put this statement on their website saying in part, quote, the public library is the institution in our society that attempts to provide a diverse of view, a diversity of viewpoints on a wide range of topics of interest, including political, social and religious ones. Now, no matter how controversial or objectionable those ideas may be to some people, a public hearing request has been issued to the MCLS or by the MCLS for the next Board of Aldermen's meeting to discuss funding for the library. They're still waiting for a response to that request. For 12 News, I'm Anna Farish.